Today in Rome, I toured the Colosseum and the Roman Forum. It was a beautiful piece of history that I'd like to share with you now. Well, I'm in Rome and there's not very many tourists, which is quite incredible. And I'm on the way to the Colosseum. It's so quiet here, it's really cool. You can hear all the birds. Only 10 minutes away from my Airbnb was the beautiful Colosseum. It was absolutely breathtaking and even better than I'd imagined. At the Coliseum. After exploring the outside of the building, it was time to see what the inside had to offer. When you first entered the Colosseum, you get to explore the massive halls that hold an archaeological museum. You then enter on the ground floor of the Colosseum and get this amazing introduction into the arena. Next, on the second floor of the Colosseum, you get to appreciate even more ancient Roman artifacts. The second level of the Colosseum is even more impressive than the first. You really get to feel what it was like to be a spectator in the Colosseum thousands of years ago. We even got to see some of the wild birds that have made the Colosseum their home. I'm at the Colosseum. <laughs> Thank you. 
The last stop on the Colosseum tour were the lower levels where the gladiators would have lived. After the Colosseum tour, it was time to head over to the Roman Forum. So I just found some ruins next to the Colosseum. But before leaving the Colosseum and beginning our new tour, I decided to explore more of the streets of Rome and find something to eat. Lucky for me, I found this adorable pizzeria right in the heart of Rome. The tiramisu dessert was also very delicious. After lunch, I made my way to the Roman Forum. The view from Palatine Hill was beautiful. You could see the entire ancient city from above. This is the Palatine Hill Gardens. The gardens were beautiful and filled with more ruins than I could possibly imagine. The Circus Maximus was particularly impressive. After checking out the gardens and the ruins, I just began kind of wandering around enjoying my time at the Roman Forum. With most of the residential town already explored, it was time to check out the city center. There were countless temples, religious sites, government buildings, and markets in this part of the ruins. 
One of my favorite buildings was the Vestal Virgins Temple and Atrium. After exploring the center of town, I went back up onto Palatine Hill for one last look at the ancient civilization. After a full day of exploring the ancient ruins, I was getting a little hungry, so I stopped on my way home for some gelato. But of course, the Roman Forum was still on my way back home, so I took in the views one last time. Eventually, I did say goodbye to ancient Rome and traded it up for modern Roman streets in search of a nice place for dinner. I quickly found a cute little restaurant and ended my perfect day in Rome with bruschetta and carbonara. And that concludes my amazing day in Rome. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all again next time.